So now we'll be showing the cross hatch technique, um, transverse and long are both covered, but I will begin in long. So having the marker facing the patient's head in the longitudinal plane. So we're moving laterally, medially and then laterally, making sure that we're slightly out of the breast tissue. So contour, content. And then we're moving down inferiorly, still on the lateral portion. Moving from lateral, medial, back to lateral, slightly out of the breast tissue. And then just repeating that. So as we move inferiorly, you see that we have some overlap of the planes. So that's to make sure that we don't miss any lesions or anomalies in the breast tissue. So we just continue inferiorly as we conduct our scan to make sure we get all of the breast tissue. Until we get to the most inferior portion and as you can see again we're slightly out of the breast here so that we're making sure that we cover the whole breast slightly out and of course the nipple as well. So now I'm going to be moving into transverse and again moving from superior to inferior and we're starting on the superior lateral portion of the breast again just slightly outside of the breast to make sure we cover everything. So moving superiorly, inferiorly and just repeating that contour content. And again, you see some overlap of the areas we scan to make sure that we're covering all of the breast tissue and just slightly heel toeing to get the best angle. And moving back superiorly from the inferior. Lateral, medial, lateral. And finishing that scan again, just slightly out of the breast tissue to make sure we are visualizing everything. So that is the cross hatch technique um, in both the transverse and longitudinal planes.